Hey guys, it's Matt. Welcome to Speed Tutor, and I'm going to show you a really helpful way to add double sided materials to all of your different assets in the world. Now, sometimes you don't have a back face on your object because it might be just a thin plane, and it's really annoying when you can see through the object and it looks really weird. So, I'll show you on all three pipelines. Now, I've opened up the same scene and project in the built in render pipeline. And you can see that again, we've got this problem, but there's nothing built into the original render pipeline for a two sided asset unless a developer or somebody gives you one. So I've got a great solution on the Unity Asset Store, which is called the free double sided shaders. And you can add that to your assets or download that. I'm going to open that in Unity, whereas you will have it in your package manager and my assets. And you can search for the free double sided shader. Make sure you import and install that. Then once you've installed that asset into your project, you can go to your model, which needs the double sided shader. You can go to the Cincinnati studio, the CS standard built in, and then you can do the standard with specular setup. Annoyingly, it does only have the specular setup. This is still a PBR setup. You can use the base color, the normal map, but it does use the opposite. So a specular map which is the smoothness in the alpha. So if you do want to convert your metallic map, you can use that. And I do have another example if you want a metallic setup shader or double sided. Now I'll leave this link in the description and I found from solve three rain, the double sided standard shader. And if you copy this entire script from this page, you right click, you choose create and you choose shader and then you choose the standard surface shader. You can open up that and just paste it entirely into this new script here save it out and while we're here making awesome shaders i've got loads on my patreon and i've got over 225 different scripts assets and projects you can check out today and then you'll have a brand new shader created then you can go to your cover object change the shader and change it to the standard double sided and you'll be able to see on standard double sided it still works and it's fully with a metallic setup now with a normal map height map occlusion metallic and albedo if you do want to change the name of the shader in that list you can just change this name here which would stand a double sided so i could name it to whatever i want within these brackets so here you can see i'm in urp and you can see this lampshade here it's missing its back face in urp it's very easy to get a double sided material and it's built into the universal render pipeline lit shader now if you choose that for any asset it's usually the default shader that you will apply to all your materials if you go down to the render face it'll usually be set to front you can set it to back if you do need it the other way around but you could set it to both and then you will get the back face on the object so you don't have that issue with it being see-through anymore so in HDRP, and if you see the HDRP lit shader, this is the default shader for HDRP. And you can see this asset here I have selected. By default, it does have an option for double sided by default. So you can just click this box here and you can choose whether you need to flip it, mirror it, or have none in whichever case is relevant to your asset. So mirror is normally the best option. That's really all you need to know. So that was how to create double sided materials in all of the three pipelines, which I think is really, really helpful for everybody. And do be sure to check out all the links in the description for all the best sales savings and everything you can find in game dev for this month. And do be sure to join my Patreon because I'll put that double sided shader on my Patreon too, if you need to get a hold of it. Big thank you to all my patrons and a special thank you to Peter Steiner and everybody else who comes to watch the video. So don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Cheers.